Hello there, it's EverythingMan95 again. Uh, this is my first video this year, 2014, and um, this one is on how to build a very simple little metal melting or any real type of forge. So it, uh, this is my blower from last year, it's just a little duct fan. It was left out by me and uh, it's busted now, I don't know, it might just be the wires, but it wasn't too strong in the first place. So I just got a new hair dryer. So you gotta get ones with the little cold button. I'm just gonna put a piece of tape around here to keep it on cold, because if you put it on hot, plus you have the heat from this, you're probably gonna overheat it and use more power and everything else. So um, this is just, uh, simply how to build this forge. I'm gonna have a video very soon on how um, on melting more aluminum but uh, yeah this is the little um, I don't know this is just a piece of scrap tin or something from last time I don't need that that'll probably melt if you're really doing anything tin has a very low melting point um, but it's just out of bricks I think most people probably have bricks lying around or you can get them uh, pretty simply. So I'll be back in a second since my battery's oh, these dying. These cameras eat batteries like crazy. Anyway, um, this is a good little hair dryer here. It has two settings, that's up to you. It doesn't have to or anything. But uh, you just want to get a good one that should last a while because you only need it for the fan so the heater doesn't really matter on it. But uh, most people have bricks around. They're just normal bricks, I don't know, red bricks. You can use uh, stones if you have any that are built square enough, I guess. And you can use red bricks or fire bricks. I guess it's better if you use fire bricks because they're more heat resistant, but I don't get this thing up to too, too much, uh, too, too, too hot, so it's okay for me. But Right here is the little opening for the fan. So it, I, I kind of want it to make a little, almost a spiral, but that's hard to do unless your fan is really powerful and you have everything set up right. But this is meant for charcoal. You can either use briquettes or your homemade stuff or kind of chunks. Normal coal could probably work too. And then on top of this, you put a garbage can lid that works the best to keep the most heat in but uh, right on the bottom are just two more fire bricks don't use ones with holes on the bottom because uh, you don't want you just want it uh, the most flat it's just the easiest and then it's just built up kind of um, stacked so you get the most strength out of the bricks but this is a really easy way too because you don't use any grout and if you need, or mortar or whatever, if you need to, you can take it and you can move it to wherever you want. You just have to get uh, the piles of bricks. But then again, without using mortar, it's going to be weaker and there's cracks for air to get out. So it's, it's not the best if you're considering doing this uh, more for selling bars for quality or... Um, something like that but this is just like an amateur simple little easy to build forge you just take your hair dryer you can set it up however some people use pipes they duct tape or whatever pipes uh, PVC or metal is better because it's heat resistant and then they'd put their hair dryer over here and then the duct runs into there and uh, I, I might do that since I don't want to lose the little hair dryer and you shouldn't pay too much for these most people have old ones maybe they are semi working but that's okay because you only need them for the fan and uh, that one was 20 bucks not not too bad and then your, your duct will run into here it'll be blowing and what I do is normally put one layer of charcoal briquettes on the bottom maybe two and then the crucible on top of that and then you just fill the rest with briquettes. Try to get a little bit of space for air in there so it can blow around evenly, but 
that's up to you. This is my old, old crucible. You can see in my first aluminum melting video. I was trying to melt and then the can burnt out. You can use these cans, just like generic soup cans, but uh, they do wear out after, uh, it, it worked well for one melt, but then after the second it just entirely burnt out. You can see that in my other aluminum melting video. That's just a pile of the dirt, and then this is all the scrap aluminum. So, uh, yeah, that's how to build that forge. I, see, I should have another uh, video on melting metal very soon, either this weekend or next weekend. But, uh, yeah, uh, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do, it helps. And this forge, you can probably, in pristine conditions, you can get it up to well over 1,000 degrees Celsius. Um, well enough to melt aluminum. Maybe even if you got it good enough, you could probably melt copper. But you'd need a better crucible. And for my crucible, I use a propane can, those green uh, lantern or uh, stove propane cans. They work really well. You just grind off the top. You have to make sure they're empty first, of course. But uh, those work. And also, just I have to say this, I'm not responsible if you do this and you mess up. So, um, yeah, good luck.